enhancement of shareholder value is the single most important consideration that made us adopt this first bank holding structure. First of all, by migrating shareholders of first bank to the holding company through a one-for-one -one share exchange, there is no reduction on the investments of the shareholders. You, there, you do not experience any diminution in the value of your investment because it's a one-for-one -one transfer. Secondly, and very importantly, assets across the group, assets across the group remain unchanged because it is the same assets in the, that were previously under the supervision of the banking group that are now being moved to the holding company. So assets within the group also remain unchanged. If anything, it is these assets that will now be closely monitored, closely supervised in a way that they will deliver on th their full potential and promise for the future. So through this arrangement, definitely shareholders of FBN Holdings will be the greatest beneficiaries of the new arrangement. And for the customers, number one, through this structure, we are putting together a mechanism for sharing resources in a way that will bring overall cost of doing business and which will also positively translate to profitability. But for customers, what they tend to benefit is that there will be increased cross-selling from across the group. Because just as an example, a commercial banking customer may not necessarily only need commercial banking services. He may also need long-term capital or financial advisory. There may also be the insurance leg and other services. So through the way we are organized, we have put the structures such that we internalize all the benefits, the full benefits of our relationship with our customers so that what we are essentially providing customers is a full service opportunity rather than providing you a mono product. So for customers, there will be beneficiaries of cross-selling and a larger pool of products in the basket.